why don't I just hire my own set of contractors and why don't I just flip a bunch of properties in Kansas City and sell them to turnkey investors? You could try to do it yourself. I mean, just depending on uh, how many factors there is with yourself as far as timing and when you can fly into the city and see what you're buying and understanding what you're buying and a lot of the due diligence. There's reward, but the, the risk is very, very high if you're not going to be able to be there bi-weekly or an, on a daily basis. But I heard that uh, it's pretty simple. You just, uh, you get three bids and you're good to go, right? <laughs> yeah, and your bids can vary from 20000 to 150000 so. Well, obviously, I just picked the lowest one, yeah? <laughs> For sure, and sometimes you get the best work, but a lot of times you don't. Back, 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 back to those days. I was running, 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 running in one place. Set a, set a, set a, set a, set a, set a, set a pace. Feel like I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been running in one place. Yeah, I've been feeling pretty good. I've been feeling great. I've been feeling how I should, how I really should. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the House Flipping Show here on Holton Wise TV. The House Flipping Show is for anyone out there who is currently flipping houses or wants to one day flip houses. We talk about real live flips. We go into details on the numbers, giving you guys an idea of what to expect when you're in the house flipping business. So if you're out there and you've already flipped a home or you're an experienced home flipper, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I would love to talk about any of your projects. I think every single flip has something that we can all learn. Now, what we're doing today, we're doing something a little different. I was actually filming another video. This is part of the Ask James Why series uh, with Sean, the owner of a company called US Reeb. US Reeb is a turnkey company. They handle turnkey investments in a few markets, Kansas City, Dayton, Cincinnati. If you're a fan of the Investment Properties for Sale show here on Holton Wise TV, you've seen us market a lot of their properties in that company. And what Sean and I were talking about, we were talking about a new fund that he's putting together because Sean has flipped over a thousand homes in his career. And with his fund, what he's doing is he's raising $5 million and investors are able to buy a security. You know, they're essentially able to buy shares in this fund and he's using all of that money to flip homes, to, to be put back into his turnkey operation. So it's pretty cool. If you guys are interested in learning more about his fund, you'll want to take a look at that video, which I've put in the show notes below. But during that interview, Sean and I, we just, you know, we ended up talking, just shooting the shit more or less. You know, we're two guys who've been in the game a very long time, and we've both done a lot of business. So him and I just started talking about some of the war stories, some of the flips we've done that didn't go too well, and just some of the trials and tribulations investors can face when they're flipping houses and it's not always going that great. So I want you to take a look at that footage now. Why would I want to loan you the money so you could go in and flip these properties that I don't have any control over when I have my own money? Why don't I just hire my own set of contractors and why don't I just flip a bunch of properties in Kansas City and sell them to turnkey investors? Because I mean, there's turnkey investors everywhere. Kansas City is a hot market. James is on Holt Wise TV saying Kansas City's hot, man. Why, why, why do I need you, Sean? Why don't I just do it by myself? Well, you really don't need me. You could try to do it yourself. I mean, just depending on uh, how many factors there is with yourself as far as timing and when you can fly into the city and see what you're buying and understanding what you're buying and a lot of the due diligence. Um, you know, there is a lot of experts out there that can do that. that with that, that comes risk with anything. Um, Trusting maybe the person that's going to walk the property for you before you purchase it, or maybe trusting the contractors and saying they're going to do what they say they're going to do per the scope of work, um, the lien releases. And every city and state, which I think people underestimate, has so many different laws that we've narrowed down with just a particular lien release um, that you've got to understand those factors. I've spent six figure money on all my contracts, the way they're written as far as the lien release is how when the scope of works are getting done by the contractors, they sign off on them, all the work, they've pulled the appropriate permits. But again, every city, um, every state has different laws to kind of know about. Um, so you and Hinder, there, you, there's reward, but the, the risk is very, very high if you're not gonna be able to be there bi-weekly or an, on a daily basis, being able to communicate with somebody on the ground. But I heard that uh, it's pretty simple. You just, uh, you get three bids and you're good to go, right? <laughs> yeah, and your bids can vary from 20000 to 150000 So, Well, obviously, I just picked the lowest one, yeah? 
<laughs> for sure. And sometimes you get the best work, but a lot of times you don't. So, but that's that, that risk versus reward. So again, it comes down to what's your return you're kind of looking for. So if you were shooting for doing it yourself and you were shooting for this 20 or 25% return, um, I can tell you that the majority of time it's not there. Um, so ours again has been narrowed down just due to errors on my side being education. Um, and then, you know, knowing the properties, knowing the scope of works, knowing the, um, what material cost and some of the bigger ticket items, you know, HVAC. I mean, are you guys paying 3000? Are you paying 6000 for an 80,000 BTU? So there's it comes down to just knowing your pricing. But again, uh, you know what your comfortability is and what your timing is and how much time you have. It's it's tough, dude. Like we're we're laughing about it, but y'all, if you if you think fixing and flipping is super easy, I want you to check out my other show on Homewise TV, the House Flipping Show, uh, where we talk to investors nationwide. So if any of y'all out there listening to this, you know, and you're flipping houses, man, leave us a comment below. I might want to interview you. But the the main reason I started doing that show is because it, it's so goddamn tough. And dude, you know, we flip houses out here in Cleveland, and I've had my teeth kicked in. Like two years ago, I flipped a house and I lost 40 grand. And I, I want to make the episode for the show to show you all how somebody who's, you know, done a lot of real estate can still make a, a mistake and lose 40 grand on a flip. I just, I haven't got around to it yet. Maybe it's an ego thing. I don't want y'all to make, make fun of me, but I, I am going to put out that show because anybody out there is telling you they flip, they flip houses and they never lost money. They're fucking liars or they've only flipped one or two. How many houses would you say? You had to flip before you really, you know, got your bearings and, and, and were comfortable saying, yeah, I'm good at this. I mean, I'm sure you've had your teeth kicked in a bunch of times. I mean, you already said it, going to new markets, losing money. But can you give me a couple examples of yeah. just pure teeth kick-ins? Yeah, well, I'm sure I, I'm surprised I still have teeth. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been a lot, you know. But um, I, I'd say one of my strengths are I do work about seven days a week, a minimum of 10 hours a day. I mean, I have a family, I have three boys. So just being committed to that is where my biggest strength was of understanding where people were at on the job sites, uh, making sure the jobs were getting done. I mean, but I had a particular house that I did that with and it was one of my first several and it was a higher end house. Um, long story short, I lost a hundred thousand on it, but again, it was due to carrying costs. I didn't factor the interest right. And that was one of my main things that I always try to suggest to people now. I mean, you should be factoring a year's worth of interest on that particular property if you plan on buying it, to flip it, to fix it, to make a profit. And I factored the best case three to six months and um, did some of those things. I had some errors and watching the construction crews and it was right in my own city. It's right in a very valuable area. And it appraised, um, I lost 100,000. It appraised at 400,000 and I sold it for 300,000 because I hung on to it for over a year and I just needed to get rid of it. and. and the buyer just found the particular property at the right time and they got $100,000 equity day one. But I just was coming down towards the end of a, a balloon and just really had no choice. So, I mean, when you say lose, losing that when you didn't have it to lose, um, it pretty much wiped out my net worth and I had to start over with $9,000. See, that's a really good story, Sean. I, I like that story. And I, and I know a lot of folks out there you know, everybody wants to look good. Like we're, we're super savvy investors and, you know, to an extent we are, but yeah, we're human and we make mistakes and it's a tough fucking business, bro. If, if you're out there and you're, you're trying to watch shows and you want somebody to tell you that everything's fucking somersaults and rainbows, this ain't the show for y'all. Maybe y'all should check out Clayton Morris's show. I know <laughs> that guy says that. And uh, while you're doing that, why don't you Google the three-hour documentary I made on him and then come back to us when you're done with it. Because this is a tough game. It's, it's difficult. And mistakes happen. So if you're out there thinking, hey, man, why do I need a guy like Sean? And Sean said, hey, you don't. Technically, you don't. Y'all, you don't. You don't need Sean. And you know what? I don't really care. Uh, if you think – I'm not here to tell you that Sean is the only – way that you can successfully fix and flip houses investing in this fund that's that's not what this is about this show is about education and this show is about transparency in the real estate industry and yes you could go in there as an investor skip him skip anybody that's here on our show do it all on your own fund your own investments and you might come out making a killing you know for there's a lot of folks out there that put their money on the line and they become Elon Musk or they become Bill Gates. But you know what? For every Elon Musk or Bill Gates out there, 
there's a thousand guys that tried it and failed. And guys like Sean, guys like myself, we've had our teeth kicked in. We've tried it. We failed. So what I can tell you guys is that you have options. You have the ability to do it yourself and greatest risk, greatest return. If you're willing or if you're a person who's thinking, hey, man, maybe I shouldn't try to shoot for the stars. Maybe I should try a little safer route. You know, what he's offering, y'all, it's a, it's, a, it's a pretty good opportunity. It's a fair opportunity, and it is a low-risk opportunity to get your feet wet in the business. And his fun, it's only a year long, and it's got, I, th- I believe you said, like a nine-month extension. So under two years, you're guaranteed to be able to get that, your funds back unless, you know, the world tanks and uh, the economy is destroyed and everything's lost. But I think you got a better shot uh, getting struck by lightning than losing all your money. So more or less, your money's only going to be tied up for two years, and then after that, you got a little experience in the game, and maybe you want to try something a little riskier, or maybe you just like working your day job and not having to worry about it and just earning a solid return for your retirement and your kids' futures, guys. That's all That's all we're positioning here. That's all Sean's positioning to you, yeah? Yes, sir. And then some of the things to keep in mind, too, as an investor that I always try to preach to is that just because, like, I made the mistake on the $400,000 property and I thought buying the more expensive property was probably my best angle for my return on investment, um, and obviously it wasn't. So just adding zeros to a purchase price doesn't mean you're going to gain that much margin on the back end. So acquisitions, knowing your price range. I mean, if you got $100,000, you don't need to buy a $500,000 rehab project. You probably need to stay in your $100,000 range until you build your funds up more. So I've, I've made the mistake of doing that. And so educating them, you know, people there is what I always try to do. A big thing that folks make mistakes on too, is they, they miss, they miss that exit price, right? And one of the biggest ways you can miss an exit price, guys, is misreading your neighborhood, misreading your comps. You might have a 3-2, 2,000 square foot home here in this neighborhood, and then you got one across town, and they're the identical build home, but they're going to have varying exit prices. So knowing your neighborhoods is incredibly important. And specifically to some of the neighborhoods that Sean and his team are investing in. In the show notes below, I've linked to the ultimate guide to grading Kansas City, Missouri neighborhoods. I filmed that with Sean's partner, McKaylee. And in that show, we graded all the neighborhoods in the Kansas City market on an A to F scale. A being the lowest risk neighborhood, F or an F being the highest risk neighborhood. So when you guys are investing and you're looking in these markets, it's incredibly important to know the lay of the land so you don't you know, miscalculate your exit prices. In addition to that particular guide with Sean and his team, we're going to put out another one on Dayton and another one on Cincy, both markets that this fund is heavily invested in. All right, special thanks for Sean for coming on the show and being so candid. I know a lot of people out there, they don't necessarily like putting out their dirty laundry. You know, Sean, of course, is trying to raise money for his fund, which, again, I have more information on Sean's fund in the show notes below. You're going to want to check out that video, or if you want to learn about the differences between the types of funds there are or why you should invest in a fund versus direct property ownership, take a look at that video in the show notes below. Sean goes into that in great detail. But what I thought was cool about him coming on and do and uh, just talking to me, just shooting the shit with me like that is a lot of people you know when they're trying to raise money or get people to invest in their business they they only like to present the good stuff they like to present everything like hey invest with me it's all perfect and i i I don't like that guys and you know red flags they go up in my head when i see people you know pitching shit like that this is real estate guys that's what holton wise tv is all about it's about transparency in the real estate industry and the fact of the matter is dude real estate is a tough game it's a tough business and if you're like me or if you're like sean two guys that have done a ton of deals we still make mistakes we still get our teeth kicked in i still just did a flip where i lost forty thousand dollars and i want you guys to stay tuned because i will make a full episode of the house flipping show about that forty thousand dollar lost sometime in the near future when i get the gall to actually produce that but i i will do it for you and again i'm just i'm really happy that sean was able to be so candid with me and and give you guys a look into the man behind the business and just, you know, into some real life stories that, uh, you know, seasoned investors, they have. And, uh, 
pro- problems that are going to occur in their career. So I want to hear from you guys, though. If you guys want to be candid and just have a great conversation on flips that you've done, and maybe they went really well, or maybe you got one that was a, a pain in the butt, and uh, you just want to get it off your chest and give other investors the opportunity to learn from those mistakes, I'd love to hear you. Drop those stories in the comments below. If it makes sense to do an interview, my team will reach out and we'll get you scheduled. That's all I've got for today. Thank you for watching Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Back, 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 back to those days. I was running, 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 running in one place. Set a, set a, set a, set a, set a, set a, set a pace. Feel like I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been running in one place. Yeah, I've been feeling pretty good. I've been feeling great. I've been feeling how I should, how I really should. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy-to-use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With RentTech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.